look who has been all festive for her Christmas shopping. Okay, Christmas shopping, you have to dress for Christmas. Good morning guys and happy Vlogmas Day 8. I think this is the first time that I've been up and dressed before Jenna's left for work. Which is good, this is evidence that this is the it's, case. It's lovely company. Yeah, and not only that, I'm actually going to walk her into work and take the dog with me. Just so we all get some fresh air and stretch our legs first thing in the morning. And get me rain for the day because we've got a lot planned today. We've got a lot planned, we've got a lot to do and I need to be starting on a good note. But we need to get the advent calendar open just in case there's a task in there, which I don't know if there is or not. Okay. Yeah? Let's Deep. get it open. Doo -doo. Oh, there's a task! Uh oh. Uh oh. We already have a lot planned for today. This might not be good. <laughs> what does it say? Task for today is go to look at Christmas lights. Okay. We can do that. We might be able to fit that in. We can, we can do that. We might be able to fit that in. Christmas lights! Okay. Is that like residential Christmas lights, you think? That's what I intended, but yeah. there's no reason why we can't go and see the ones in High Cross and then drive home and go and see the Christmas lights on the way home. That sounds good. We, there are two celebrations today. Which one do I like? I'll have a job when you don't. Do which one do you like? No, I chose the last two. Okay. I'll have the Mars. Okay. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Caramel for me. <laughs> I feel a bit mean. We never get these guys anything. Aww, well they probably have their own advent calendars. If you guys do have your own advent calendars, I'd love to see them. Hit us up on Twitter, at the Oxleys Daily, and send us photos of all your advent calendars. Leaving the old ones of these on was a really smart idea. It makes it really difficult to find the new ones. I think the hardest bit is your inability to actually open the damn things. I don't understand why this one's not opening. Note Chris, don't buy Jen an advent calendar next year. Is Body mist. I don't even know what that is. This is just a bottle of water. Probably smells good. No. Oh no, it's touching me! Shep always seems particularly excited when we're both up first thing in the morning. But when he saw me put my clothes and well my not my clothes, when he saw me put my shoes and my my coat on, he kinda just slumped off upstairs. And uh, I don't think he realises that he's coming for a walk. Shep, we're going for a walk! Shep, we're going for a walk. Come on. Yes, go for a walk, I'll your lead. Ah, you needed to see the lead to be sure, didn't you? Come on, we're going this way. Jen, don't forget your Mars bar. Your Mars bar. Thank you. That must be a really good sniff, mate, but we need to go. Come on. He doesn't want to leave her. Say goodbye, mate. Let's go home. Come on, let's go home. Shep just kept turning around as if to kind of go, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? You should be coming with us. About halfway back he gave up, but up until that point he was so cute. Weren't you so cute, mate? Yeah. Okay, in your bed, buddy. Daddy needs some breakfast. I'm so hungry now, I've definitely worked up an appetite. I also need a coffee, but I don't think we've got any left, which is not good. I'm gonna have to do a bit of scrounging, I'm sure I can find something. I managed to find some coffee beans. Unfortunately, they're a little old. And I need to grind them myself, but I'm sure I can make them work if I can find the damn grinder. Time for me to go meet Jen for lunch, but I need to make sure that I take this box back to the post office. It's a duplicate from Amazon. It needs to go back because Jen does not need two of these things for Christmas. She only needs one. So I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to shove it in the car, but I knew that I was going to need to take the car at lunch, which is why, or one of the reasons why I actually went for a walk this morning to get some steps in. Exercise, it's the key to not being fat. Finally managed to get to see Jen for lunch. We had an amazing subway. I had a foot long, Jen, she chickened out in a six inch and I still managed to finish it before she did. Basically, I inhaled my sub. I stopped off by Waitrose to pick up some coffee because like I said earlier, I'm pretty desperate and they're so lovely in there, in contrast to the co-op. I had to go to the co-op in order to drop off my package that I was showing you guys earlier. And consistently, the staff, particularly in this branch, are miserable as... I mean, they are really, really bad. Really bad. And today, this one woman didn't crack a smile, barely looked me in the eyes, and she's there chewing gum, and she's like, alright, there you go. 
She was old enough to know better. It's not like she's some 16-year-old. She was at least 40 from the looks of it. And you would have thought that in time, she'd have learned to be nice. You're in customer service. Freaking smile when someone smiles at you. Respond when someone's nice to you. But in there, I don't think I've ever had... Sorry, I'm getting angry now. I get angry at people who just don't seem to give a shit about their job. They... Oof, no. No. I don't know why people shop there. Like I said, the staff are consistently miserable. It's overpriced. It's ridiculously expensive for what they sell. I don't know if it's every co-op, but the one in Harborough? No. Just don't go in. Next stop, it turns out I've still got those toys in the back of the car from yesterday. I'm going to stop by the radio station. If my battery doesn't run out, um, I'm going to hand them over. I contacted them on Twitter, and they're really nice about it. They apologised that no one came down. I don't know if it's because they're short-staffed, or at that time of day, there's just no one around. I don't know. But, you know, they were apologetic. They even offered to come and pick up the stuff from us, which is awesome. The least I can do is drop it off. I'm assuming they're very busy, and I don't want to take up any more of their time than I need to. So I'm going to take it around there now. Busy, busy day today. I've not had a chance to even sit down and edit yesterday's vlog yet. It is now 20 past two, and I need to go back out and meet Jen around about five o'clock because we're going shopping, Christmas shopping. Are you all right out there for a bit, mate? Yeah, you're still there for a bit. I'm gonna go shopping. Um, but on the way back from, on the way back uh, from dropping that package off at the co-op, I had a woman, an old woman, pull out on the roundabout at me and have me slam on my brakes. And then round the corner, I had some guy, some delivery like DPD or something like that, driving at me on the wrong side of the road while on his mobile phone. And then he started mounting a frigging curb. <sighs> I'm so hot, worked up, time to edit the vlog. Where's my laptop? Oh, there it is. I've just noticed that I had a package delivered addressed to me and I don't even remember ordering anything. I was so excited, wondering what it was. And it is... A plastic bloody bag. It is basically Virgin Media's packaging because they want their old set dump box back. Happy Christmas to me. I was so excited. Chris has just picked me up from work and we are heading out to go Christmas shopping. And we've just arrived in the car park in town. And there is this big thing where if you park after six o'clock, you get your parking for £2.50 for the whole night. If you arrive before six o'clock, you still pay by the hour. I warned Chris of this at 10 minutes to 6. We planned our route carefully and we arrived here at 1 minute to 6. And we came in. What the hell was that about, Chris? We should have just, we should have just stopped there at the entrance with the hazards on going, we're not going in until 6 o'clock. The question is, will they give us a grace period? Will they only start, I don't know, I don't know. Are we going to get charged £2.50 or are we going to get charged for more? I kind of... I didn't want to wait, we could have waited like 10 seconds or something, but I didn't want it, I wanted to test it out, I wanted to see what happens. The ticket says 5.59, so we know there was only seconds to go till 6 o'clock. I think the people behind us would have thanked us for making them wait as well till 6. No, no, they got in at 6. Oh, it's just us. It's just us. Right, let's go, I'm hungry. Okay, yeah, me too. Look who is being all festive for her Christmas shopping. Okay, Christmas shopping, you have to dress for Christmas. Before Christmas, I swear, our tree's always going to look as amazing as these. They never end up like this though. Our tree looks way better than this one. Our tree looks sad and pathetic and all I've done on this one is just throw toys on it. <laughs> We've been in town for nearly three hours. We have not bought anything, but Jen is going to buy one thing. It is not a Christmas present, it's just something for herself. <laughs> This, this has been the most unpredictive, <laughs> unproductive Christmas shopping trip we've ever done. Yeah, it's worse than normal. We also found this, and Jen goes, ooh, do you want it? Or should we get it, she said. And I was like, well, how about, do you want it for Christmas instead? Yes. She's, so we're getting that, and we're getting that, but she's having that for Christmas. So now she knows everything she's getting for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but now we don't have to spend any more money. Yes. Ah! <laughs> we win. Look who's in the passenger seat again, it's me! She's just driving! Yeah. I don't know if I trust her to get out of this car park in one piece though. What? I've done it loads of times, just not with you in the car. Hmm. So, the only thing we ended up buying today was the diary and that photo frame. And it cost us a grand total of zero pounds because this one 
had £35 worth of gift card just lurking in the bottom of her bag somewhere. It just She magically remembered at the last minute at the till. <laughs> it's a good job I didn't remember five minutes later after we paid. And they're closed. And they closed. So <laughs> that didn't cost us anything. They're both for us. <laughs> I feel a bit bad about giving it to her for Christmas since she paid with her gift card from a refund from, from last, last year. Christmas. Last Christmas. <laughs> so I guess it's just a gift for us. Yes. We are really bad Christmas shoppers. We are. But we've got some good ideas for people to buy on Amazon yeah, where it's but Jen, cheaper. Jen had, Jen had this amazing idea that we're going to come out with bags under our arms and stuff. I was so looking forward to buying loads and loads of Christmas <laughs> yeah. presents today. We didn't even get one bag. We carried these out like this. I've burned 790 calories being active today because I walked with you into, into work. I then came to meet you at lunchtime and now we've been trotting around all day. Evening. That's really good. I'm tired. Really I'm going to have a nap while you drive. Okay, deal. You can't nap though. No, I won't nap. You nap. And then you won't see my driving. Yeah, it's really bad. This is one happy dog. Yes, one happy, happy dog. Day. He's glad happy to see us. Hello. Look at that tail he's doing roundabout. Windmilling. Go on, mate. Wag the tail. Wag it. Oh, no, he's gone for a toy. We may not be drinking alcohol at the moment, or at least I'm not. But we are still using our fancy wedding glasses even if it's just our orange juice. It just makes you feel special to use nice stuff. There's no point in having it if we're not gonna use it. Today has been a crazily long day. It is super late and I'm a little disappointed that we didn't manage to get all the Christmas presents I wanted to when we were out earlier. In fact, we didn't get any of the Christmas presents that I'd wanted to, which is a real shame, but it was lovely to go out shopping. I've got loads of good ideas and I just have to get online and start ordering. Like, that is going to be my job when I get myself tucked up into bed in a moment. Amazingly, we only had to pay £2.50 for car parking, which was a bargain. I really didn't think it was going to happen, especially when we pulled up before 6 o'clock and you just know that the machine's going to mess around with you. It is late and I am off to bed. So I'm going to say goodnight guys and I will see you tomorrow. Is it a drone? No. Oh, I don't want it. Okay then, I'll have it back. I do want it.